I got to ask the real question, though, because these are these useless like Linux benchmarks. Nobody yeah. nobody uses Linux. Uh, what's what about the Windows performance on the Raspberry Pi <laughs> versus the Windows performance <laughs> on the net? Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin. That's Jordan. That's Pedro. That's you sitting at home watching this live, hopefully on Twitch. Dot TV together because you form Shadow Realm Dynamic, that part that enables Cocaine Voltron. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're getting ready for another Linux Gamecast Weekly. In fact, we better be ready, Jordan, because we're on it right now. What say you what? to this? I, I don't believe that. I'm okay. I'm in the past 500 don't years poop ago. Yourself. On 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 a sailing <laughs> ship. Not full of poop. No, not not full of poop at all. Um yeah, no, throw I, it to you, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, I figure, I figured that, and I'm trying to figure out how to catch that. Anyways, yeah, so I, 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 I squatted some big numbers this week. I, I squatted six hundred five and six hundred fifteen pounds. Uh, that set that second one went about as well as I could hope. It did, did feel you like post I was the video gonna... one like your only legs. I only did. Tests, I did. On, on, only, only quads. That, only that's quads. where I'm at. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, po- I posted it in uh, Discord too. It's- youtube somewhere um but yeah no it went pretty well tried benching 405 that went less well but i didn't uh-huh. get i didn't get 385 that's a pr but that's you know tight, man. yeah you know i i need i need bigger titties that that's Ooh. the takeaway i need i need to get my titties bigger and more powerful and then next time next time i'll get it also i, I started playing a, a game called uh Celeste crown of the magister and i didn't realize uh I, I was doing it on thursday and i didn't realize that it is like actually it Utilizing the deep fake offensive toolkit as well as like top level voice synthesizers. So I have constructed a perfect digital recreation of Mr. Fox Dog in this game. <laughs> down, down, down to the down to like everything he says, every, the way he looks, he opens his mouth and it's just Michael. Yeah, it's but just it's just Michael. That, it just says cunt every time. It yeah. <laughs> It's it, I, I listen, listen, I, I have re- recreated him. Um, this is like some ghost in the shell shit now. <laughs> He did. If you didn't tune in, I I, I watched uh, probably a good 15, 20 minutes of that in and out. Jordan has set up uh, myself, Pedro, uh, Michael, and uh, who else? Strider. And Strider. We're, we're the party, which I'm sure we will die fast and painfully. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I, I'm a cruel and capricious to God. Yeah. Yeah. Because Jordan's like, who do you want to be? And I'm like, you know what? I'll, audience participation. Here I go. I want to be a mongoose wizard. And Jordan's like, so a mage. I'm like, didn't fucking type mage, motherfucker. I mean, <laughs> I, said, I, 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 I tried to min max you. you yeah, know, you did. You, I, you I, know, I, I you, you still, you still got, you still got really good stats though. So it, it's not going to matter too much. I'm a hobbit mage. You're, you're, a, you're. A, I mean, it's scale, scale model, one to one scale model of n. Barely. Yeah, I'm like 0.7. This is all force perspective too, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> production values for you. What if I'm playing around? I talked about it in the pre-pre super shows and real quick. Uh, if you, you're ever planning to go from like WordPress 5.3 to six hold on clear off that morning or that afternoon you're going to be tracking stuff back because shit gets changed this is all because of otters that's all i'm going to tell you all because of otters 100 percent. i went over there in the pre-show i think pedro was zoned out because we found out we found out how much a teenage mutant ninja turtle video game cost on G2A, we found a legitimate use to actually go to G2A and look something up a game that has been pulled off steam because i was curious and uh, we placed some bids on it. Apparently, we were all lowballing. It's just a little bit, Pedro. A little bit. <laughs> and it wasn't just pulled off Steam. It was pulled off everywhere because the publisher didn't like it very much and it got a bit panned. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, $600 <laughs> <laughs> for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game. You got some shoes to fill there, Dot Emu. We'll get to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that in your life, Pedro? Uh, well, we got an argument about uh, what constitutes. Uh, ah, yes. Uh, storage. Uh, the I used the wrong word, so yeah, that's on me, absolutely. Uh, the but yes, uh, speaking of uh, actual physical stuff, I finally got the one of the unicorns of the netbook world, the Asus Triple E PC ten fifteen PN, and it works. It has the Nvidia Ion and the dual core Atom. Um, it is. It's working. It, it took me a while to get both the 340 legacy NVIDIA drivers and the Broadcom uh, 4313 Wi-Fi chip that this has to work. 
but it's working. It's all working now, so I'm happy. <laughs> well, I asked you in Discord, and you just like kept walking. We, because you were posting, I believe it was Geekbench. Mm-hmm. Where's my Raspberry Pi four numbers? I did post them. <laughs> that was them. like the one that I posted. Yeah, <laughs> it, it violates the no scroll up rule. So yeah. unfortunately, they were hidden forever. <laughs> but I did post them and. Uh, uh, MT and uh, Arthur and were the uh, the other ones there, uh, and they commented it's like, oh, so the Raspberry Pi four is more powerful than these netbooks. No, yeah. I, I that's CPU okay. wise. You, you yes. can you can answer this for me then because I I didn't assume it was more powerful. I assume it corrected. Uh, it is. Uh, it scores about twice uh, for a single um, for the single threaded um, value score thingy. I see. It, it's about double. Uh, and for multi-threaded, since you know it's a quad-core, uh, it uh, does a little bit better than the AMD one. It's not as far away from this uh, Intel Atom because this is a dual-core four-thread uh, Atom, so it, it it does surprisingly well. So, but, was but, so, so there the, the, or was there not a reckoning? It 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 is still faster. Yes, P- Pedro. I- <laughs> I, I, I gotta ask the real question though, because these are these useless like Linux benchmarks. Nobody yeah. nobody uses Linux here. Fine. Uh what's what about the Windows performance on the Raspberry Pi versus the Windows performance <laughs> on the netbook? Who wins? Who wins? To winter. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, probably probably the netbook would win in that one because Windows on the Raspberry Pi is slow as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like we need to do a science Microsoft. experiment. <laughs> no, man, we need to get Windows 11 on the horse. I mean, the we, we already have the TPM 2.0 support on <laughs> uh, on the horse. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's the steam. Let us week. And um, well, if one screen wasn't enough, maybe you'd like an extra one for your Steam Deck. Yeah, uh, I want so you can deck, you know uh, you can piss off Nintendo that bit more because you can accurately emulate that Nintendo shit, get a lawsuit. Yeah. 3DS games uh, or just regular DS games too because yes you have the uh, actual um, screen on the deck itself which has a touch screen you can use that as the bottom one uh, and then you can get this one which is a 3D printed uh, housing for. A teeny tiny, I'm guessing, eight inch uh, LCD. I love this. I love this. Pedro Mateus, a screen that's bigger than the one on the Steam Deck is teeny tiny. Yes, the one on the Steam Deck is half an inch. So that one is eight, probably. <laughs> Uh, and it is, yeah, it is actually very, very well done and it folds over and it covers the, uh, the actual built-in screen. So it has that extra bonus. You can carry it around and it has a pass through type C port that you can use to power both the deck since it is using the type C, uh, port on the deck itself. There's, uh, there's a battery drive. on the back there too, isn't there? Uh, that's the, just the PCB stuff, ah. uh, to run, so, so- uh, yeah, do so the power kill version your deck even and faster. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it has a little teeny tiny Type C port on the side of the extra 3D printed enclosure that it does pass through, and it, it powers everything. So it is uh, it is very well thought out. That, that I was actually impressed. That's very good. That's very good. <laughs> but what if you could? Uh, how much do I have to pay? I gotta like uh, call a store or something like that to make one of these. Uh, well, you could. <laughs> you could go to the library to print one of these. <laughs> yeah, the, the the point here is very much that you can 3D print your own for the uh, for all the housing and uh, all of the the schematics for everything. They're all on offer as well. You'll probably Teenage need to pay Nintendo for the Nintendo panel Turtles. that much you can't get away from uh, and the rest of the electronics. But it is that's a very well uh, thought out addition. You see, I'm good. looking at this. We're seeing the video, and he's got it lit up, and he's playing a TMT, uh, TMNT game. And mm-hmm. I saw like that is some Nintendo level bullshit mechanics. So I'm guessing he's uh, doing 3DS or something. Like yeah, that. that, that, uh, that's yeah, that's probably one of the DS. <laughs> Simu, yeah, no, like as, <laughs> as someone who has a lot of lot of hours in DS games, this this speaks to me. I kind I kind of want to, <laughs> despite the fact that like. 
I'm going to like flip it up one day and the thing's just going to snap off and take a giant chunk of my Steam Deck with it. Um, yeah, I think the PLA neat. that it's built out of is going to snap long before the Steam Deck does. <laughs> well, That's I mean, what you think. Advances in <laughs> filaments exist. I can print it with chocolate. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you can. I, I mean, Probably you're going to melt those, as soon as you turn it on, but you can. Yeah, those, uh, those uh, Steam Deck thermals are not very uh, very conducive to those. I mean, you need uh, the screen, we'll see battery, charger module, 50-pin ribbon, cable extender, 3D printer, and uh, I'm going to give this like a 5 out of 10 on the TSA acceptance rating. It depends on how good of a job you do before taking it through an airport. Oh, you Be will get, prepared get to get detained. <laughs> that, that that one guy got laughed at for bringing a steam deck on a plane. This one will yes. definitely get laughed at. <laughs> but this one's got extra boko. Yep. Inlanders. A couple of new games this week. Yeah, uh, this this one, uh, they have a Kickstarter coming up, but uh, until that gets underway, they have uh, the first encounter, a essentially a demo of this. Uh, it's Hyper Light Children's Card Game meets Mega Man Battle Network. Uh, they uh, Right now, the uh, Kickstarter is for the full version. Like I said, there's a intro segment here. Um yeah, it, it looked it's really really aping on that hyperlight drifter uh aesthetic, but the yeah. gameplay uh is uh very very different. It does require the elusive Len- 11 Linux though. So you're going to have to you're going to have to track that down if you want to run this with the recommended settings. Pedro, you tried the uh demo, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh the uh combat system is very very similar to the chair uh, the game we're going to be throwing chairs at later on. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, maybe a bit of a spoiler for the uh, chair acquisition, and Lenders does it better. So I, I look forward to um, eleven Linux. The, the rest of the <laughs> and Lenders are coming out. The other encounters, however many they you say they that Jordan, be. but I'm more impressed by like I thought about second writing something here, but fuck it. <laughs> <Dash. laughs> the additional notes minus. I got to give them credit. They're doing the right thing, though. I mean, this is one of the requirements for, uh, we know, we used to talk a lot about Kickstarter projects until, I mean, to the point where it was annoying. Like, I was like, oh, why is everybody? Uh, then we said, if you have a working Linux demo, then we'll talk about it. <sighs> Lunch hey. of people disappeared. But they're doing it right. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Go download. We, we don't even have to ask. First it. episode is free. Go play mm-hmm. it. Try it for yourself. <laughs> I'm down with that. But I'm more entertained of what we're going to talk about next, because I grew up, you know, you had to be a Mega Drive or a SNES kid, and I think everyone here except for Jordan was Mega Drive. T- team Sega, right? I'm just I, I, assuming. I, I was team not allowed to have a console, so... I yeah. had a Master System, and then I went to the Saturn, uh, but I played a lot of Mega Drive, because everyone else in my class had a Mega Drive. <laughs> I had a Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, that was but I, I mean, like, at the time of release, you were, like, two, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I'm just saying you, you Pedro was four this. yeah <laughs> yes yeah four or five that was about the right age to get a gaming console and uh yeah I was in sec uh no I was in the, like fifth or sixth grade when the Saturn came out that's when I got it <laughs> nice. for, for the second or third time the first <laughs> the first okay. time so you know well, what I'm getting at is this. Uh, we had a bunch of fighting games, and I was always a fan of just the 2D arcade brawler. On the Mega Drive, we had Streets of Rage. And, Rocky. Uh, the Nintendos had the Streets double Streets of Rage 2. That, that is the game, man. Bumping soundtrack and great. And, you know, we also had, uh, what was it? Uh, Final Fight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Which was the thing. Uh, Mike Hager. Yes. And the SNES version was famous for, like, not only having all the characters that only like two characters in the first and they came out with an ultimate edition that had all the playable correct mm. characters. But um, this, this is like an homage to that. I think now I'll let the audience to decide, is this more streets of rage two or is it more final fight? This is final vendetta, hard hitting action packed beat em up in the vein of classic arcade titles featuring stunning. Yeah, we know the rest. Um, <laughs> Move and combos are included. Three players, six areas, three difficulty settings, and several unlockables. And you know what? I was looking at this and just looking at uh, the screenshots. It's fine. It looks fine. Watching the video, though, man, they went full hipster pixel. And I'm like, ah, I don't know where I'm at with that. You know, I mean, it looks very serviceable in the screenshots, but those sharp pixels 
really stand out in the video. I I really do. I think the one thing that stands out even more than that is the fact that they don't have online multiplayer. They're... Uh, they're, they're, that's they, their biggest sin, yes. <laughs> yeah, that 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 is the the worst thing they did. Yeah, because you know, street, you bring up Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage mm-hmm. Four. That online multiplayer was fucking smooth. Ethan has done a very good job at like getting FNA's networking like to be very very compatible just in general. Um, yeah, and if if you're going to be coming out with a competitor like that, you can't just say, oh yeah, you can rely on Steam Remote Play. That's a perfectly serviceable way to. That doesn't play. You know what? I blame Steam <laughs> for that too. <laughs> Like yeah, they've they, sold they, that at two developers as you don't need to worry about multiplayer. You can use this because it's an infinitely worse experience. It yeah. is bad. <laughs> if you want to, if if you want to know what input latency feels like, try Steam Remote Play together. Seriously. Oh oh oh! <laughs> try at home. Did he, did either of you tr- play a uh, 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 big vampire mummy? Uh, Resident Evil Village? Yeah, The Village. No. Capcom has put that. Uh, you can go check my tweets. Uh, web play. You just log on and start playing the damn game, man. And, oh, nice. Uh, they got the demo. Worked under Linux. I went there, and Chrome said, hey, plug your controller in, dumbass. I'm like, there's not going to... Oh, okay, I found your controller. I'm like, okay, you got my attention. I'm at least going to try this. <laughs> Loaded it up, and it's definitely some Stadia tech, because you, know, you would think a game like Resident Evil 7... Or village or whatever it is, uh, eight, it's yeah. kind of like yeah. it, it's catered to that. You know, you're not because you know third person. You're kind of moving around and. Uh, no, vi- village is first person. No, it's first person. Yeah, yeah, which is even worse for remote play. Yeah, for, for controllers. For yeah. yeah, that's worse. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's not doing it any favors. It's it's first person. And, and, yeah, it's not a twitch shooter. So what am I getting at? No, 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 definitely no. not. <laughs> you walk around, explore, and all that. Uh, but there were times I was seeing like 500 milliseconds of delay mm. in turning, and <laughs> that's that's a good day on Steam Remote Play, depending on how many countries you're going through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. It is. Uh, it it is. I tried. Uh, what was that game we played together, Jordan? Um, the one with the wizards. <laughs> Never won it. Uh. Never no, that one. No, uh, that was that was proper uh, multiplayer. That wasn't uh, remote play together. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. The the was it was it the uh, don't split the party one or whatever. I'm ah, something like that. Yeah, maybe. There there there, 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 <laughs> there, there, there were a couple. Um, yeah, it it, it it was it was bad. I re- I remember that. Yeah, tr- you you trying to connect to me. I trying mm-hmm. to connect to you over. Yeah, and I'm like, I have, it, I have it, a better connection. Let's try this. Yeah, it's like, oh, my, my internet, uh, Jordan's internet was uh, significantly faster than mine at the time. It's like, okay, so I'll host, and I tried to connect, and oof, oof. <laughs> you see, that's yeah. a better experience than when Jordan and I first tried it, and we both had our ear holes blown out. Oh, yeah, when it full screens and, like, just maxes out the volume on whatever yeah. the fuck the game was. That was, that was, that was wonderful. That was a great time. <laughs> I, I, I still hear the ringing in the distance from that. Holy shit. All right. Uh what you might have showed up for is Turtles. Not Turtles in Time, though. Shredder's big news. Revenge. <laughs> no that, Vanilla Ice. Yeah. Shredder's Revenge is what I call after I eat too much Taco Bell. But it's also the latest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game out from uh, Dot Emu, who are continuing to kill it by offering native Linux ports of their game because FNA. It fucking works, goddammit. <laughs> also, uh... Uh, as, as an aside, uh, before we get talking about the game proper, this is actually the first FNA game to Vulcan by default, which is pretty cool. Even though it's a hipster pixel game, even it's 2D, even though it's 2D, it is it is Vulcan by default. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a classic uh, Teenage Mutant Turtles beat em up. You got multi online multiplayer, unlike that other game we were talking about. And yeah, it looks pretty good, at least. I don't know. I don't yeah, know to your point, that. on, line, co, up. You got it. You got it right, man. I spent a lot of time playing um, the Hyperstone Heist. Back in the day, I did. I put it because that was one of those games. It was challenging, but you could reliably just get through the entire game. It took maybe like two, three hours. And this looks a bit like that with some of the original arcade kind of thrown in. And as you can see, if you're watching the video, you can absolutely place April O'Neil, but not Ace Duck. So that's <laughs> that. no Casey Jones either. Unfortunately, you can't whack people with hockey uh, sticks. Uh, you know, visually, I'm going to say this falls somewhere in like hipster pixel done right category because the pixels aren't sharp enough to cut you. I'm like, all right. Pizza. And multiplayer, you win by multiplayer. Dot EMU games. Yeah. So what are we expecting for this? How much would you have to pay for it? Don't fucking know, but it's probably going to be somewhere between 19.99 and 24.99. 
Uh, next yeah. week. The next week, by around this time, we'll we'll know exactly how much it costs. <laughs> but yeah, and I mean, like, the, again, the price might be a little high for a hipster skin, but also, like, you know the quality's going to be there, and you know that shit's going to fucking work beautifully under Lewis. Right, and, you know, Ethan said on his Twitter account, you have no idea how long I've been keeping this quiet, and da 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 So it's going to work on Steam Deck from day one. And, you know, there's that little bit of confirmation that some, you know, Daddy Mew was like, yeah, let's make Deck a bit of a priority here. And make yeah, sure this finally. is a good experience. <laughs> There's finally a platform with Linux at its core, and it is effectively just desktop Linux. So anything that works on the deck will work on your desktop uh, Bullshit. client. Bullshit, Strider. <laughs> on deck somehow, and that game will not fucking run on an NVIDIA card, baby. Uh, yeah, Strider works. Uh, it, that's actually deck verified. I think that's an NVIDIA issue. Uh, <laughs> if you have uh, AMD cards, according to the Proton reports, mm. uh, there's a lot of people with AMD that are saying, yeah, the game just works. So something's up there. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to playing some Turtles. That's all Indeed. there is. That, me too. All right. Well, coming up next... Uh, let's talk about how it's a great time to start packaging open source software for your distribution of choice. Click all the things. It's the news, yes. And before we start with the news proper, we need to, you know, put the kibosh on that immediately. Man, if I ask if we could be the mongoose news, you're going to turn me into a halfling warlock? You know, I was going to ask you if you wanted some cashews. Oh, right. uh, But the... <laughs> The news are coming up. Don't you worry about that. Uh, there, there, there's no driver news this week. But uh, you, everyone watching, and especially the ones that decided, you know what? Let's let's give those people money. You're the ones driving this show. Yeah, whether you're you're, 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 you are li- like the <laughs> aforementioned cashews. You too that's are. Me pull, I'm, listen, that's not. I'm pulling the whistle. <laughs> pull, 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 pull that whistle in, in, in the in the mongoose wizard station. Yeah, check out uh, check out patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Support this nonsense, this incoherent babble that you listen to week in and week out. Um, you can get some cool stuff by, by becoming a patron. Uh, you get access to our Discord channel, which you can also get by subbing to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. You're probably listening to that right here, right now, unless you're on YouTube or some other thing, in which case... You should watch us live. We try to be everywhere that you might possibly fucking accidentally yep. stumble into us. Yeah, so we're you, on library, um, <laughs> podcast, we can be. Yeah. video on Spotify, baby. Yeah. Somebody speaking leave us a message. Speaking on, of video, um, you know, certain levels of uh, Patreons get access to the video feed for the pre-pre super yeah, shows. They do. The rest of you can just kind of listen along, but it's an extra uh, hour of hey man, uh, like it, I redid some things in Discord. Like if you mouse over our executive uh, live notifications, that's just straight up Patreon cam show. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. This is the show, baby. Mm. Amazing. Yeah, so if you want to see all the good bits that sometimes only get posted to only quads, you gotta check that out. Uh but yeah, we got uh but yeah, uh we got a store as well, store.linuxgamecast.com. You can buy some LGC apparel, some merch, some sundry goods. They are fire, just like the emoji says. They're also incredibly flammable, also like the emoji applies. <laughs> They're so, not uh, overpriced. I want to bring this up because I was wondering, I'm like, where's some of the shirts? I'm like, they changed something and apparently they had changed some of the pricing. Mm. I just want to let everybody know because I had a TLL before the show. Is because I just got a price very close to cost. And since they did like a dollar increase on their end, some of the more negative money. So if you're wondering where some of the shirts are, I'll change that. I'll change the price back to we're doing that but yeah merch yes. man put it all over your face chest and neck I mean, indeed don't, maybe not your face you know what I mean, St- I mean, stickers are good on your face i mean <laughs> if we if we got lgc masks you can put them on your face but you know if you if you if you don't want to buy yourself something maybe you want to buy us something you want to you want to give us a little tip a little little something on the side because you're our i'm you're, glad you're our you bring that up daddies. pedro what the absolute fuck is this that's not that's, not, that's me <laughs> it's a, it's I, a, I know but you can fucking tell me <laughs> Pedro will have to guess like me. <laughs> okay, right. Okay. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, a- appa- apparently. Yeah. I'm trying, man. No, Plus adapter no. card with 16 TFs SD card what? for this. It's probably it's got to be for the... Uh, uh, is, okay. is that like a Franken? It's, it's a Nintendo the- 3DS, uh, uh, DS, DSi, uh, 16 gigabyte card you for say storing that, But I think it has more to do with this. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Cowabunga it is. 
<laughs> Cowabunga it is. Good memes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bunch of fun things in here. Uh, you know, Pedro's always got his lock picking kits because breaking and entering, that's his hobby. And, um, <laughs> It's something that I like to do, and I'm still not, you know, lockpicking lower levels. There's no way I don't have enough free time in the day. Uh, but it is absolutely something like that's very fun toys. to do. Hey, uh, and yeah, I can reliably pick the all the, the practice ha- locks oh, that okay. I have. I can Never reliably mind. I pick read them. that. That looked like a J-Cell battery, and I'm like, what in the absolute fuck do you have? That no, it's a power bank. It's the all biggest right. power bank that they have. It's 20,000 milliamps. It's like, all right, okay. Let's go. <laughs> and of course, if you want to get your name back here or not, you got to pay extra for that. Uh, we got a list for the studio with a bunch of really expensive shit on. Not really, but yeah, actually, yeah, I take that back. Bunch of really expensive shit on it that we are planning. One thing that I'm thinking about doing for patrons, I haven't worked out a logistical way to test this, but I'm not making any promises because I don't have to do it. But what I will say is something I've been toying with this idea is doing a live stream for patrons on Sunday while I'm editing and producing the show for ah. Linux Q&A. Because, you know, how many times are we doing a stream and people show up and like, hey, I got Linux question. I'm like, we're in the middle of a fuck-mothering show, dude. Come on. <laughs> like, read the room. Wait for a break. <laughs> but I don't know a legit way of setting up the test. I haven't worked out the test room yet without having to buy shit because I want to see, like, is anybody's interested in that before I start spending money because that's not going to be cheap to pull off. And if nobody wants to watch it, I don't do it. Seems fair. There you go. Seems legit. Yeah. Yeah. I, hey, man. All right. <laughs> Come on. Like three hours of like, why aren't you using KDE in life? Why aren't you using OpenShot? Why are you using... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you, you can set up a little uh, Twitch bot for that or a little overlay and OBS be like, we're not using KDE in life because X. I'm just like, oh, no, no. Like, even you. better yet, I'll full screen KDE in live and like screenshot it and like cut it out as a template to put over. <laughs> no, 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 no. You just have a KDE in live window open that's doing nothing while you have editing going on on the other. I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We do thank you for your support, and uh, let's keep rocking on. Now we Indeed. Go. Uh, oh, we do yes. want to thank Nubbin. Ah, yes. Sub. Oh, yes. He did. 25 month Two, resub. Thank you very much. Here, well one done. Nubbin sub. It's the old Nubbin sub. Oh, Anyways, right. let's uh, let's talk about software Ship packaging. Bottles? Yeah, so this is an open letter from the Bottles community, and they say, please don't unofficially ship bottles and distribution repositories. But, um, it seems like they're a little tired of people packaging their software incorrectly, <laughs> not really testing it, putting it out for users to consume, and then getting random bug reports from people saying that like it doesn't work on OpenSUSE because the, the build they got off of OBS was was broken. And so they're saying like, hey, we're, we're, we're trying to create this really polished product. Um, right now, we really only support Flathub and AW, a, or, uh, the AUR, and we're even considering dropping Arch support entirely. They want to go flat, path, flat, flat pack first, which is not a bad strategy when it comes to having to support a wide variety of operating systems. Um, they did say, though, that if um, if they do want to, if a uh, developer or a distro maintainers do want to contribute to a to tested high quality builds, they are willing to offer support. Um, but again, this, this is, I guess this is a problem that a lot of uh, projects will run into when other people start distributing their software in a way that's outside of their control. Like, are they responsible for those bugs? I don't, I don't think so, but they're still going to get those emails anyways. Right. They aren't. This is something the Ardor project faces because a, uh, the Ardor team makes compiling Ardor cryptic as fuck. That's why I had to do a guide on it. I'm like, this is what you actually need to do to make it work. But they have a thing of like, if you didn't get it the binaries directly from us, fuck off the sport. And, you know, they do have an addendum uh, from June 6th, uh, 7th? Was it the 7th? Yeah. That they're worried about people invalidating the user experience. So, as Jordan said, man, like, I, I think that's fair of, like, if you want to work with us, but they can't control it, though. It's already out, right? Yeah. Yes. All this and hinges the, the on point- people even reading this, which... Yeah, the point is to try and create that awareness. It's like, okay, you're shipping a bottle. It's not official. So get in touch with us. We'll help you get it right. And everyone will have a better time of it. So yeah, if you are packaging stuff up with bottles, just ask them. <laughs> also, also, just kind of as an as an aside, if you're a, if you're an open source software user, and you get your you get your software from an AUR or from a PPA or a copper repo. Please do not. Your first step should be the maintainer of that repo, not the actual software uh, 
maintainers themselves or the the <laughs> software uh, right authors themselves because they did not provide this build for you. They don't know jack shit about what Bill's copper repo is doing, right? Like, well, why yeah, would I mean, they? Michael brings up a, like the same issue with Blender uh, repo against Blender. Yeah, if you want to get Blender.org, download it through Steam. Get the official version. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually the best way to get it. Yeah. yeah. Plus you get cloud safe. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I wonder if you like actually store like long ass animations on cloud save. I bet there's a fucking if save in there. They'll, they'll maybe. probably let you save like configurations and maybe okay. a couple of no. other things. I mean, no. uh, in Valve's defense, it tells you how much cloud storage you have for each. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it it does. I'm I'm just looking for like the uh, the Dropbox like the angry tweet of like I try <laughs> I synced my entire animation project to Steam Cloud and now it's deleted. <laughs> so. Pedro is going to explain to us, um, not a static X, but a static one. <laughs> Shadow zone. <laughs> I'm winning. You're losing. <laughs> uh, but no, it is. Um, it, it's static wine 32. How many times have you run into an issue with a, an old game or an old bit of software that if you were to install the 32 bit version of wine, you knew, you know that it would work. Just because that's run how you- wine 32 and you uh, get, Something called a dependency, I think. Yeah, <laughs> you get a lot of dependency errors on Ubuntu. It's not uh, errors. It is... I mean, it's only like one hundred or so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all all of the wine packages that go. No, we're not going to let you install that one. Uh, and it is it is kind of a pain because yes, there are a lot of really old uh, bits of software that only really run reliably with the thirty two bit version of Wine, and. Yes, getting them um, dynamically linked or getting them from a distro repository is going to cause issues. So what if you could have your own statically linked version of Wine 32-bit? I want to chime in, but I can't think of any Static X songs right now. My <laughs> I, I, the I have only, it's the one uh, that I remember because uh, uh, I posted uh, uh, it recently. Undead, Stingray, uh, <laughs> Shad- Shadow Zone. They, they, they did a really good cover of Gimme Shock Treatment. Okay. Um, yeah. Identity, fantasy, um, <laughs> something, something killing me yeah. lower they, than lower. They, they, also did a, they also did a pretty cool cover of Behind the Wall of, Sweet, of uh, Sleep by Black Sabbath. Okay. Uh, yeah. Back on topic. Uh, yeah. But yes, it, no, it no is, more it's available <laughs> on GitHub. Just look for a static wine 32. It is, there is one really big caveat, but you can get around that too. I don't give Clever. a shit. Gandalf endorses <laughs> this shit, bro. Unreal. Man. Latest yeah. wine, latest Mesa, latest everything. Gandalf, a famous. Uh, and uh, you will wizard, need wizard one emoji. thing. One thing on top of that, because currently that version does not support Vulcan at all. Don't care. There's... I fucking love the TLDR. Does it even work? Question mark. Yes, absolutely. But it shouldn't. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yes. In theory, it shouldn't. But uh, they made it work with you know modern day sixty four bit distros, uh, you, where you get a complete static um, one thirty two implementation. So, was very nice. <laughs> there, 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 there's some, there's some interesting stuff in here as well because he, uh, the author goes into some of the, uh, the stuff behind there. Vulcan support is actually really tricky because uh, Vulcan implements a lot of dynamic loading, which you yeah. can't really do in a statically compiled <laughs> That's environment. Kind of- the point <laughs> static yeah the, uh and and so 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 basically what they're saying is like yeah M- mesa needs to be hacked up everything basically needs to ha- be hacked up to support static linking because you know in a modern system you're not really statically linking that much stuff they provide uh th- this entire repo is basically for like the the docker file to build this container so you can run your i don't know league of legends out of it i guess i don't know or the, the, probably not League of Legends, but uh, <laughs> there's uh, older games. Uh, like you, if you have a sizable GOG collection, which was also a thing that we were discussing on Discord earlier in the week. Um, and if you have really old games, they are going to more likely run out of the box with 32-bit wine, while in 64-bit you're going to have to do some futzing. <laughs> some All right. Futzing. So there is that. I wanted to bring it to everyone's attention because I'm like, this is a horrible idea. I fucking love it. And, and it uh, still should work with the XVK. You just have yeah. to set it up yourself. <laughs> that, that falls into like, if you have a use for it, you got a use for it. Now, I thought we picked at Cookie Clicker, but maybe you looked at Cookie Click and you're like, too limited. Only works in this one game. I need to bring this um, ARPG into just everything else involved. I want to be able to click on all the things, baby. <laughs> everything you got, 
There's always been a program for that. Not always, man. If you go back far enough, it's not going to exist, but just roll with me. I'm talking about Auto Clicker for Linux. Open source EDU, easy to use, feature rich, blazing fast. None of your slow auto clicking bullshit in this application. Using X11. Written in C, GTK. Look at that. Got a nice little X clicker interface on it. I'm like, all right, that's pretty dope. <laughs> they do have the YouTube video of like, what the fuck is this for? Minecraft. This, baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> was where I was at. I was reading this because we're going to talk about an update in just a second. What is this for? And it showed Minecraft immediately. I'm like, done. I get it. I understand why you would need this because you got to get to the center of that fucking Tootsie Roll pop. Or in this place, <laughs> you know, you want to fly. And build build the tower, yeah. Like, the, yeah, there, and there, there's a lot of situations where, like, you maybe need to click a button every once in a while to stop a bomb from exploding or to save someone's life. I don't know. But now you have an open source tool to do that. Actually, this has been around for a while. They have a brand new release that doesn't really have a lot of new features, but mm -hmm. there is support for holding down a button to fire the auto clicker as well. So if you want to have like a turbo button type setup, uh, you can. Which or is if you can not have the hand on the keyboard, but you just have like something on the keyboard mm -hmm. to hold down that key, it clicks for as long yep. as it's there. It's very nice. You do not, credit, do, do not use this to cheat on games, though. I, I must reiterate. <laughs> Do not oh, use this to cheat on Hundred percent, hundred percent. No, I'd never think about it. Uh, it comes in the form of, and they get a Debian package. They got ARM HF. Yeah, we yeah, had for your pies. So if you got your Minecrafts on your pies, AMD sixty four, of course, and uh, Arch sixty four. Nice to see. I wanted to give them a little shout out because I don't exactly have a use for something like that, but you might if you want to fuck around with their next project, uh, which is Mind Test. Now, I could ask you. At home, I got to ask Pedro Mateos, and I got to ask Jordan Quang. Is this is this the one people get pissy about when we talk about, or is it the yes. other one? <laughs> <laughs> it, that's the problem. There's two uh, competing factions within Mind Test, and um, yeah, the, the, they're both wrong. <laughs> it is the textbook example of like <laughs> six people playing this one, and eight people like. Your community's the, yeah. not large enough to be fighting here, man. The, the, yeah, this is some like Judean people's front, people's front of Judea bullshit. Yeah, like ab ab <laughs> absolutely. It's like but, everybody get along. But they do, they do have a new release out, and that has some cool stuff in it. Um, yeah, there's there's an amazing new game mode where you basically oh. get a uh, look at. They, they, so they build the maze out in front of you, but you can you can see the you can see the path, but then the walls are too high, so you have to like memorize the route before you can go through, which is which is kind of interesting. They also have uh, a new bunch of new translations for Node Core, which I looked into it, and it's basically Minecraft TIS 100. Uh, also, if for those of you who care and only care about steampunk blimps, there are now steampunk blimps. Steampunk in. blimps. All the all the other kids with their pumped up blimps better run, better run, outrun my gun. Faster than my airship. Faster Come than on, my uh, airship. A couple of new things in here. There's a new mod called X Maps that adds, you guessed it, treasure maps to the HUD. I look forward to seeing what creative um, uses come up with that. New texture color mod allows you to, well, I guess again, probably change uh, texture colors. Huge crocodile boss is featured in uh, March's post. Um, it was released in the content DB, so it's good. There's a mod scene for this, and I like their main menu redesign proposal so much that I launched Mind Test on Debian, which is an older version. I'm like, yes, that's an absolute improvement. And of course, the latest and greatest available in a flat pack snap, not an app, app image, just flat pack snaps. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but, but look at the X map. It's got an X on the map. I like that. Does what it says on the tin, man. No. Yep. Yeah, it's the treasure maps. Uh, the, the actual Minecraft. Uh, the they do maps. bring up. We're looking at the blimp, and I'm like, no, nah, man, this blimp's big enough to celebrate fucking Christmas on, like a hole in the sheet, baby. It's huge. Yeah, you can go. On, you can go on some adventures. Run better, run better, run faster than my airship. Like faster than my airship. All the we, other we, blimps. We, we gotta keep. We gotta keep uh, rolling, 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 though. Limp biscuit. Uh, hey man. Just, yes. Uh, and if you need to work that wrist, um, there's a certain company called Rexy Gaming. You probably never heard of them. I know I hadn't. Uh, and they are made for gaming, apparently. Uh, and they make. I mean. After your the brain's Rexy done wheels. with like cinematography, the next spot, <laughs> probably lighting, then stage work, then eventually you do get to gaming when like you run out of exhaust all other 
I, I mean, yes. I, I think like boat, boats fall into that as well. They use those cranks. <laughs> Sailing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, this is uh, very much about the, uh, the wheels, not the... Um, good-looking person wearing the Rexy hoodie. Uh, it is the, the the Rexy Wheels classic pre-order. I just like this. I'm going through the instance like, and it's made from sharks. <laughs> it's, made for, it's made for fighting sharks, is what. Yeah, that 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 video with the shark, uh, that video shows the thing in action, which, okay, okay yes, on, you, use, there. There you use one of the wheels uh, to move the camera right, and you use the other wheels to move the camera left, and then you have... Um, um, just like the up and down and left and right, the two axes, uh, mm-hmm. and then you have a third person holding the left analog stick on a dual shock four. No, the fuck you don't, Pedro. You use your feet. <laughs> you need three hands. I I can put you, I can you put need, bicycle you need four hands. on it. There, no. there are there are four hands in this video. You can you could get away with three if you had the dual shock leg down on the table. You well, can get away with three. <laughs> why do you have but, a problem with two? This is this is too. Use your third I'm arm. Giving, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt here. It's like, oh, it's a gaming peripheral that you're going to need another Pedro person to sees play more with. than one hand and it's bam, straight to me. <laughs> now, I, I, I gotta, I gotta ask, like, how much of a workout are you gonna get with like intense first-person shooters with this? If you're just like cranky, 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 cranky. Oh no! Yeah, like, I, I mean, I, I, the Nintendo power pads a couple of last year, the new turny wheelie <laughs> things. This is the new business. This is the new hotness because I have always been looking. For peripheral to help my performance in late simulator 1917 this is just the thing i've been driving for all joking aside this is we all we've all stepped back and we've all walked around it and we've poked it a few times like this is curious and the reason we're bringing it up is this thing it's something you can build at home it is they sell the rexy pcb already populated ready to go you drop a pico on that bad boy and you're off to town, you got to buy some wheels, maybe some handles, but you can mix and match, man. You don't have to necessarily put those types. You can put bicycle yeah, you, pedals You on can it. build something that actually makes sense instead right. of the two wheels. And, and you know, actually, can you turn it into quid, a bike? You can get an unpopulated PCB. So, I mean, it's all there. Well, let's see what type of wheels. Uh, <laughs> wheels? It, 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 it's the wheels. <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want, um, you know, industry grade um heavy, heavy wheel. duty wheels yeah, yeah. Like 180 pounds a pop mm, you're not. I, I, again if you if you really want to like work up the, the those biceps you know you, gotta you can get i don't think the magnet handles. is that strong <laughs> but look at this man i mean that's fucking dope button handles mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. handles yeah you hold the handles to squeeze to do actual button presses but 600 pounds for the full thing 600 it's quid a very, very specialized controller Bucky. Yeah. <laughs> what? like our, our arcade racing kits like the with the wheels and the setup yeah like this is this is the same same ballpark for sure i i, I can think of you know better things to do with uh raspberry pi picos there's a pico system or all of the pico 8 uh clones that they're building with raspberry pi picos now those, those are really nice get one of them instead i was How about? say build a space bucket you could do a space bucket. I mean, but here's the thing. Like, this is relatively open source. So, yes. I mean, this is something you can build yourself. Or Pedro could. Sell all Pedro the could. Because you just heard Pedro. Pedro could take three months off from buying netbooks and be good to go. <laughs> three Ouch. months off of buying netbooks would only get me 90 pounds. <laughs> the guy who once bought three netbooks in one day. <laughs> For 20 pounds. <laughs> Three netbooks, one Pedro. Coming soon it's like to the LGC three only netbooks fans. for 20 pounds. That, that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I thought it, it's something different. So I wanted to give it a mention. Maybe, because um, I'm not 100% against trying to do one of those and like play Trek Media because I'm dumb enough to try that. I like, I, I want, I want to see the, the, the case where like someone proves like, yes, this is actually the superior control scheme for, for such and such a game. Like I, I want to see someone like no hit Elden Ring on one of Ooh, those. Ooh, is, is there like a <laughs> esports for like curling or something? <laughs> you, you know what? You know what? Maybe yeah. that's a different. That's <laughs> a different type of curling. No, no. Yeah, I, I, I mean, listen. If 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 you're into G milfs, then uh, maybe maybe you'll be getting some of that. I, don't I know. know something we were all into um, at a certain age group is NetHack. Why? Because it ran on a netbook before netbooks existed, and uh, we netbook could play hack. Yeah, with the terminal. Indeed. Uh, but this one, uh, terminal games have gone uh, gone in some directions in the past couple of years. But uh, this one is kind of neat. It's called Poketee. 
Pockete, Pockete, Pokeet, uh, whatever you want to call it. It is terminal based Pokemon. Um, well, I mean, legally distinct pocket storable Nintendo. Please don't send your lawyers <laughs> after us. Please, we beg you, Poket. monsters. But you know, you know, po- Pokemon nonetheless. Uh, yeah, they, they they have their own little type chart there. Um, yeah, I, I cloned the repo. It's just a Python script. You run it. Uh, don't make your terminal too big because it's a little janky. But yeah, you know, it it works. Um, you can catch Pokemon and raise them and level them up. Sort of, kind of. They're not they're not really Pokemon. They're the Please don't sue us, Mon. Uh, you do need to <laughs> pip install Scrap Engine, though. I throw that uh, dash dash user on that. They comment that out in the build instructions, but, you know, that's the thing you got to do. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. Is this I'm just looking at like, the names. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I never, I was too old for Pokemon when it came out, so I never really touched it. Is is this something that this gets you by a lecture? Like, okay. Oh yeah, no. If, if if you are if you are bored in class, yeah, you can you can you can definitely play this. I will say though, it is based on like the couple fights that I did. It is way slower than Pokemon in terms of like the actual combat. Okay, is that uh, positive or negative? Uh, it's, or just uh, different? Depends. It's, 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 if you're it's at Jordan level of playing Pokemon's, you want it to go fast. <laughs> sure. Let's let, let, let's go that. Yeah, I, I I will I will take that. Sure, I'm a Pokemon master. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm a Pokemon. <laughs> Out of the three of us, yes, Admittedly, I'm not at Jordan level when it comes to Pokemons, and I too like it to like, okay, let, let's just Jordan's hurry Jordan's thing is it up. a poke stone of knowledge. <laughs> I, I really am, unfortunately. I, 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 I think if we were going to have a poke-off, you'd win. I, I, I could I could have spent that, that brain power and brain space, like, learning calculus or, like, Curing cancer or some shit? No, but now, now I just know just, all the Pokemon. Just Pokemons. think about how many spinny wheelie controllers you could have bought if you didn't buy so many Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I could play the. Po- I could, uh, you know what? That's true. I could have. I could, you know what? Actually, this last year, of Pokemon games is probably about half of one of those spinny controllers. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. Ugh. Oh man, I didn't mean to poke you on it, though. Oh man, oh man, coming up next, it's time to button mash. We're throwing chairs at N Cycle versus. I'm trapped in an endless cycle of torment called the Chairquisition. This week, we're taking a look at Encycle Versus, developed by 12B3, done on LibGDX, a.k.a. Java. You can pick it up for about 30 bucks US. What is it? Encycle Versus is a deck-building roguelike adventure that throws you into the heart of war. Master over 4,000 attacks. Build your unique deck and see if you have what it takes to end the cycle. So this is your acquisition. Uh, if you weren't watching the pre or the live stream, uh, Ven did a lovely little explanation. My summary: uh, We got three people here. We're running three different distributions with semi-similar hardware for now. But we're, we're going to run it, run this game on these computers. Tell you what we think. Tell you how it ran, and give it a highly scientific score based on lawn chairs. You know, it's the best thing. So starting us off, uh, we got. Oh, did I did I mention that the dev sent us some keys? Yeah, they they did mandatory disclosure. Yeah. So let's get into it. Pedro Mateus Piotr Mitius. What did you think? Go. Yeah. Uh, over here on the Ryzen 7 3700 X with the GTX 1080, it launched out of the box on the Steam Deck. It launched out of the box. It V-syncs correctly to whatever hertz uh, you happen to be running at. The controllers worked out of the box from uh, Dual Shock, Dual Sense, and the ones on the um, the Steam Deck. Absolute, absolutely fine. Uh, there were bloops and background noise. Uh, I couldn't honestly tell you much about them. Uh, they were unintrusive, let's say that. But I can tell you that it is using also because I had to link those to OBS to capture the audio, which no one is listening to, but nah. uh, the <laughs> uh, The graphics are technically there, and um, honestly, the gyrating hips of the Azure agents, uh, you may see if you're looking at the video version that will show up, um, will forever be burned into my retinas. That faction has no business being as sexy as they are. Uh, as for the fun... Well, this is where things get complicated. This is technically, as they describe it, a deck builder, but not in the sense that Slate Aspire or Griftlands do deck building. No, 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 no. The, this is a deck builder because the 12 skills that you can have uh, at any one point are called Vox or voxelized um, object containers are treated as cards. But they're not cards. They're just active abilities with cooldowns. And the cooldowns... 
don't just affect that one hand that you're currently, because you, you have three hands, you can see at the bottom of the screen there, uh, you have three hands and each has four uh, skills or four cards. Uh, and if you use a level skill, it triggers the cooldown for all the other hands as well. So they're completely pointless. You might as well just have the one hand, focus on that and just use that all the way through. That, that's why kind of what I ended up doing. Uh, it, all you do is you have that one hand that you focus on and then you dodge. It is absolutely a valid strategy from my experience to button mash while doing the dodging up and down. It, 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 you'll get through levels very, very quickly and get through combat very, very quickly because you are rewarded for getting through combat as quickly and as efficient as you can. And having to switch between those three hands is stupid and inefficient. Just ask Valve, an artifact. Remember that? Yeah, that didn't go so well. Uh, but yeah, it, it the mechanics uh, in the combat seem at odds with each other, which is weird. It's, Instead of cooldowns, a little suggestion, uh, make each card a one-shot that gets binned once you use it, and then you get another one from your deck at the same level. I, I feel like that would be a better solution, but as it stands, it isn't, so it gets, uh, it gets three chairs. Okay, so on... <laughs> there, uh, three. Three. Blam! <laughs> All right, All right. So on Fedora 35 64-bit with the R93900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, it launches out of the box. And I got really confused at first because it launches an AL soft sync in Jack. Mm. And I was very confused as to why it wasn't showing up in Pavu Control. And then I busted open Carla and I'm like, oh, this is some Super Tux cart shit. Um, I don't think we've any of the other LibGDX games we've covered have done this, but, you know. Something to watch out for. Probably not going to hit your use case, but it ran into mine. A very flexible controller configurator. Um, you have uh, you have a number of options and configurations for like uh, Switch, Xbox, PlayStation style controllers, but you can't change any of the labels without having to remap all of the controls. It's a little annoying. Pixel art is well done. A whole cast of like cute little queer diverse characters. Fair, done reasonably well. No real issues there. Soundtrack is beeps and boops. Seems fine. Yeah, the, the, the combat really reminds me of uh, Indivisible, but instead of having the different characters, you have this deck building set up with the Mega Man Battle Network style grid movement. And there's a nice little tutorial that explains how all the various attacks work and how you can modify them to like have three different hands with like different stuff. And if you, you can take different strategies, like uh, for example, you can, if you're watching the video version, you can see that there's a red and blue side uh, and you do less damage if you're not on your side and you can't even walk on to other people's sides. So there's stuff to manipulate that. Um, but to be honest, I don't really see the need to change the starter deck. I'm with Pedro on this. You can just kind of bush your button way, mash your way to success on the preset. There's some getting good involved with dodging enemy attacks and setting up combos. Cause there are certain missions where you need to like get a certain number of crush hits, which, you know, requires you to, you know, have appropriate number of combos. But beyond that, you can kind of mash away. Uh, like I said, the cast is pretty diverse. And once you go through the entire, enough of the missions, you basically unlock all the characters with all the abilities. So you can mix and match your play style with your preferred character aesthetic. It also comes with a level editor, which is always nice to see. Um, there's a couple missions where like, oh, they actually have like multi-stages within one mission. So it's not just these single stage things, you can do some more sophisticated stuff. I kind of wish they brought that out a little bit more. Uh, and I guess online versus could be a thing, but I don't see myself getting that good at it. Also, you know, no, no one's online. So that's another strike against it. All in all, I'd say it's fairly well done, but that, you know, that $30 price tag, that's, that's a little much. I could really only give it two chairs for that. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be touching on that myself. On Debian 11, uh, running out of the box on 1920X with an NVIDIA 3060. No problems. Clean bill of health, man. All the basics are here, and that's really good to see. Window full screen. Choose your own resol you know, resolution in the uh, window mode. But hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Rebindable controls. Music volume sliders. Like to see that. Pixel art's done well. No complaints about the beeps and boops either. There. It works. Very, very important step. Now... I want to start this off with uh, asking everyone, did you know that Mega Man Battle Network is the only esports game played on a Game Boy Advance? Because I did not. I looked it up. I'm like, huh, had a learning moment. Because I'm not kidding, man. They have like tournaments and shit for that. Like, this is kind of neat. I stopped going down that rabbit hole because I need to point out 
this this is basically Mega Man Battle Network from what I've seen, what I've looked at, what I've played. You know, I have to assume the developers expect you to know the mechanics of that at least because going in in the in-depth tutorial lasts about two minutes. I kind of feel there's more than two minutes worth of um, you need to explain to my dumbass what's going on before I really get a firm grasp on it. You know, granted, you can pick up the basics uh, rather quick, but you are going to get killed to death relying on your basic bench attacks. Case in point, I get killed to death pretty regularly. Now, I played about an hour into the story. Nothing really hooked me. At best, uh, I kind of felt like it was maybe an overcomplicated game of dodgeball from my perspective. Now, the deck building mechanics seemed workable. Again, from my perspective, someone who knows fuck all about that nonsense, uh, to what Pedro said is, yeah, you just pick your attacks and you put them in different slots. Uh, I did check to see if there was anyone playing online, but as you might expect, Ghost Town at 5.08 p.m., on a Saturday afternoon. Online player account apparently peaked in this game at 18 of April this year. I'm like, okay. Because we got to talk about the price. And I think it might have something to do with this at $29.99. Um, I was thinking maybe this game was on Switch. Because sometimes Nintendo's like, yo, you got to have price parity and something like that. Nope. It's a free Android game. So uh, I'm, I'm going to defend games like Steven Sausage Roll. Which look easy and simply done on the surface being a $30 game all day long. But this, this is really only going to work uh, for long term if you got someone with an active player base. Uh, and considering it's like a very niche genre, it's not going to happen at that price. And it doesn't matter if the game's worth it or not. Uh, the Steam DB's lowest price for this was like $6.99. You might consider skewing closer to that for a little bit, at least to build it up. But if you want more than zero people playing it on a Saturday afternoon, because that's rough. And that sucks as a developer. You make something. You want people to play your damn game. And I, I don't think you're going to be able to get that twenty nine ninety nine of fun out of it in single player. I think we're going to see a lot of returns on that. Then again, it does have mods and 16 of them. So, yeah, I'm going to say two. Two. Gentlemen, um, I think the art's really well done. I think the sounds, <laughs> I mean, it is well done. I don't have any complaints about on the technical aspect, how it looks, how it sounds. All of that's there, but being an online game, am I wrong about this? Because yeah, I, it, I, I it, didn't know about online. the Mega Man thing until I looked it up today. Because I had the thought of like, am I supposed to know how this works? Because I fucking don't. <laughs> it's a competitive game. It is very much a versus game, uh, as the name would imply. So yeah, you would want to play it with other people, but that price, that's not cool. That's no, th not th th $30 <laughs> is high, as, as, yeah. especially for something like this with, with such an empty player it's base. It's always going to be niche, and if you're going to price it like that, it's like, oh, we're not even going to get into that niche. Well, yeah. okay, here's my second thought, because I can't be alone. I'm like, okay. What well, where else can I buy this? Because it's thirty bucks on Steam. Maybe it's like on sale on Epic or something. And your first result is like, no, it, it's priced at free on Android. <laughs> it, it apparently works on all of my Android devices that are lit up right now, which goes back quite a ways. Yeah, so, that I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're trying to get some money back for their development. Here's another question that was cross play enabled. Um, uh, that, that I don't know, but you know, they, do, they do have online multiplayer, which is, you know, a step above, you know, most, most games of this also, ilk available. So, sorry. you know, that, uh, it, it explains the Java though, when you put it through that, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm. for sure. Yeah. I, yeah, uh, give it a look. I mean, there, there's no demo. Isn't yeah, it? wait, 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 wait till it goes on sale if you're if you're interested in checking this out. Or there was that uh, that other game as well, uh, Endlanders. If you want something similar, uh, there uh, is. I'm hesitant to say run out and buy this unless you want to like buy a couple of copies for your yeah. uh, people trapped in your basement. Uh, unless you really escape. really love Mega Man Battle Network and you just want more of that game, yeah, maybe. Or yeah, that that seems to be what they've targeted. Judging by the other reviews on Steam, it's oh. It, it, it is a very positively reviewed game, just not a whole lot of reviews. This this one kind of tripped me up when I was fighting this guy, but to Pedro's point, yes, uh, I found that the most valid strategy is to play dodgeball and just oh, jump yeah. around and mash some buttons. 
Yeah, you got, you got to watch their cooldown. There was one boss fight where I didn't. I realized, oh, that one only attacks when their bar reaches zero, so I can just kind of wail on well, this. I person. wanted to see what it got to because you can switch directions, and there's also like the insta kill charge meter or stun yep. lock, mm-hmm. like a couple of things that were glossed over that you know I needed. Again, somebody not familiar with the genre just picking it up. I think you got to do some more hand holding, and I'm not somebody who wants nanny bars. No, I don't want a newbie soft fucking game. All right, I don't need that. I just like. Kind of, some, kind of get me into how do I stack this stuff together and like become you know super yeah. effective or just competitive and I, in this. I, th- I think this also has a bit of like the, the the fighting game psychology aspect to it as well because a lot of this is just like playing against your opponent and like the the p- player versus enemy seems to be a lot less like it, it it asks a lot less of the player than I would assume doing like player versus player does right because yeah. th- then maybe you need to juggle between the three decks and actually worry about the the grid layout. But I don't think any of us are that good, so we yeah, don't really no, have to worry it, about that anyways. It makes sense. Uh, if you're talking about a get being against another human, you need to fuck with their head a little bit. But against yeah, just button mash. Yeah. D- deck deck building is a bit of a, is a bit of a misnomer. I, I think like maybe, there's there's a there's a better phrase for this, but I'm not sure what it is. Deck building light. <laughs> a, a deck it's light. Like, they're not cards. They're on cooldowns. The, the, that's just active. Yeah. Uh, no. Like and, 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 and what what, what you said about like the uh, the single use thing, like that that is yeah. straight up Dominion. That's like a deck builder mechanic. So yeah. like yeah, that that would that would probably match that description better than whatever this is. Um. So yeah, coming right. up next, we talk about how Nvidia has solved all of our problems. It's fixed my back. It's fixed my erectile dysfunction. It's now for your crack. Yeah, it's great for my it's great for my butt crack too. Yeah. I really don't like seafood. Uh but yeah, uh if you What did seafood ever do to you? He's nice to me. It's way too expensive. What, he, for cra- a he crane kicked you in the head. <laughs> it's it's seriously, you go look at how much I don't know, lobster or um crab or anything well, like that. Well, listen, if costs. you're taking kung fu lessons from like crustacean martial artists, you better Pedro, watch it. That's why you need to get like artificial sifu made with peas. <laughs> Be- beyond sifu? Beyond beyond, beyond martial arts. <laughs> But yeah, it is. Uh, if you would like to, you know, ch- chime in on what it is that you prefer, um, seafood or seafood, uh, as the case may be, um, please head on over to lowestgamecast.com, hit the contact button. Um, it's the page that it gives you is fairly self explanatory. There's a, a, a top section full of caveats. You should probably read them if you don't, and then we don't end up reading your message. You probably know why that happened. Then the uh, the forum asks for your name, your email, a subject, and the message. That that that's it. That's uh, all. We that's need. it. You know how to fill shit out. Do that. Put a comment on YouTube. You know how to do that. Patreon post. You get priority because you finance this, that, and that, and that in there. <laughs> if you at reply us on Twitter, good fucking luck. Um, <laughs> message us on Steam. We will outright ignore you. Uh, that's how you yeah, get removed from they my They will um, not be seen. Yes. <laughs> Pro tip. If you've ever wanted to get deleted off there, easy. One straight line to it. Now, we were talking about NVIDIA cards and AMD cards and all that fun stuff. And, you know, we're always whinging about, like, why can't we get... Why aren't you normal NVIDIA? NVIDIA, like, laughs and money. Why they can't make uh, 30 series. Now, 30 series cards are kind of available. They're just still wicked expensive. Um... You know, to the point where I got like the short bus 30 series card. And I was ecstatic for like 20 minutes too. I was like, yay. And put it in and it just goes to work. But there's some cool things you get with NVIDIA. At least Cast Curse thinks Pedro Mateus that there's a unsung feature that we just completely skip over each yeah. and every time we forget <laughs> that our monitors have speakers. Yeah, the, the, this came out because last week we were talking about the drivers, which had some improvement for NVIDIA HDMI audio, which uh, Cass, as in, I'm assuming, Contrast Adaptive Sharpening Curse, uh, says NVIDIA HDMI audio is the most underrated hardware in PCs. I think about the specs, monstrous channel count um, at high sample rates and bit depths with bitstream support. They have rock solid timing better than most pro audio gear. Check out how short your buffers can go. Double um, 
exclamation mark. And if you want a DAC, a headphone amp, uh, you get a secondhand uh, hi-fi receiver for like a hundred bucks, and you have a kilowatt surround sound system and a lush amp, that's double the amps, uh, for when you're wearing cans. These things absolutely crush. You should try it. Okay? I... I think the only time I ever used uh, NVIDIA HDMI was on the Steambox 360 uh-huh. out of the 1650. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I have some like PC speakers plugged into like the headphone jack of my monitor and I'll have like audio come out of the H- through the HDMI there if I just want to hear stuff in the room. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be like, perfectly blunt. There's a couple things. One, for, with what NVIDIA card costs these days, it better fucking rival <laughs> up audio file. Headphone. <laughs> oh man, can can you With imagine the power audio that file GPUs? GPUs? <laughs> too? Don't. I, I know somebody's fucking selling those. I don't want to live in this world, so I don't. I'm not looking at it. I don't, don't want to live on this planet anymore. Yeah, two SSDs. NVMEs. Yeah, audio yeah. file NVMEs. You know, all they do is get some super glue and put some caps on that motherfucker. Like audio and, file. And, and one of those uh, 525 uh, yeah. power jacks. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. Um, hey man, they don't know better. I mean, they're the type of people who search audio file. This is a long running joke with um audio engineers is the forum joke of like, which hard drive is better for recording, better for tracking, but same difference. And uh, people will, and you'll say, is SSD or mechanical or Mac store or Seagate? And people will come back and like, uh, you mean mechanical or SSD? And I'm like, no, between the brands, which one sounds better? <laughs> <laughs> well, clear, clearly these Seagate Barracudas have like Dude. superior sustain, right? <laughs> but uh, what, what's the resonance with an iron wolf? <laughs> I, I'm just saying uh, every now and then you get a bite on it, but it, it's always it's long tried and true. Uh, like just have some fun, but I got to be real though. Um, I, don't normally I deal with a lot of HDMI and but I always forget that HD the HDMI noodle has sound coming out of it until I plug into the monitor the first time and cut a system on before I have a DAC plugged into it uh, and then the monitor starts screaming at me and scares the fuck mothering ah I, <laughs> <laughs> really TV alarm? speakers too because <laughs> those have not gotten any better right <laughs> but I guess I don't know if that's necessarily a cost effective. I, I think what Cass is throwing down is like, hey man, if you already got an NVIDIA card, you got a pretty good uh multi-channel setup because yep. hey man, you know it's there because you have to disable it and um Pavu control just go to yeah. Pavu control um, uh HDMI disabled. Oh there. no, baby, no baby. <laughs> uh I pull that out, I blacklist that the Intel. <laughs> I, I do not want any NVIDIA audio on these boxes in particular, but it is there and it does support multi-channel even at Linux. So yeah. if you got one laying around, that's probably a good option. Something that, yeah, a lot of people are not going to think about, especially for surround sound. Do you have surround sound, Jordan? No. no. Um, I, I, I just have a bunch of speakers piled on the floor haphazardly. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm looking at your room behind you. So, did you get a surround sound system? But like, they're just like playing. Yeah, around. you have a dedicated room now, so you could. Yeah. I could. I could. You know what? I, if I, if when I get the TV for that wall over there, I yeah. might. Yep. Knows? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't even have a like. I mean, I got a sound bar. We talked about that earlier, but yeah. I, I was I was storing someone's surround sound system for a while, but I never bothered to set it up because I wasn't sure if they were going to ask for it back, which they did. So I'm glad I never did. Oh, dude, that would have <laughs> taken place one day after you got it, everything. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah ex- exactly. Right. Like, yeah. Is, <sighs> is, 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 it, is it worth it? No. And here's a pro tip. Uh, if you're ever searching for like sound, don't look up sounding. Trust me on that. Don't. Okay. Google He's just going to do it anyway, and he'll probably, you'll hear the noise from him in the after. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode of Linux Gamecast Weekly. If you Half get a, a gig full, of them. Huh? Half a gig of them, 512. Half a gig, baby. Uh, we can address some of it, but if you want to get in touch with me, I'm just Vin Stone on Twitter or just at Vin at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Hanging out. Pretty easy to just chat me up. IRC, Discord, Twitch. I'm usually hanging around. I might read it. And that's that. I, I'm the elusive 615-bit Jordan. You can find me on Twitter at The Burning Fool or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. 
And you can find me uh, playing with old uh, netbooks, trying to bring them back to life. Maybe even uh, use them to do the occasional bit of low end gaming. Netbook romancy? Netbook romancy, yes. <laughs> uh, on Twitter uh, at unaccounted4 uh, or on our Discord if you happen to be one of our Patreons. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I don't know. I just saw that Katana <laughs> talked about THX and Logitech, and I was like, please, for the love of fucks, tell me they made a THX run sound mouse. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, it just screams at you. Yeah. Here's some credits. Speaking of THX, yeah, some Lucas S. What the fuck is that? What's that word, Ven? Back from Incarnate? Good, good. <laughs> There's not a well, direct English friend. It's when you want I, to punch I, I, somebody I, in the face, basically. All right. Well, we got to thank our advisors, Omega <laughs> and Arthur, and who don't want to punch us in the face. Also, Aldeus, Barbara, M. Scott Michaud, Atomic S, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George Fett, Pebble Unoid, our executive producers, and our little Nikki. Well, there goes the TARDIS. Chicago Kicks Ass fans, uh, Darkwing and Obstruction. How dare you? Don't sue us, BBC. <laughs> that was a Scottish Sea Monsters, spot. Jack B, Renault, Ryder X, Macadet, Reggie Verse, and Uda, Justin, Frost, Gloss, Dryder, Hakeem, and Nubbin. The Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marcin, Sister, Craig, Gaming, Yannick, Renee, and Fox Dog, uh, Lord Mocha, IRS, all the chairlings, IRS, IRS, one, two, one, Jill, Mr. Lord, hey, I see Mr. Game Lord. Matron, and Dodger, Ryan, Dodger, Zavata, Jonas Rulo, there's a massive Kremlin lyric, and Frazzo, minus nine, <laughs> minus nine. Anselmo, Dementor, Felatio, Ogivon, Thomas T, a large there mammal, and those fuckers. And all of our fine, upstanding cannibals <laughs> helping us out, getting equipment for the studio. Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux, New World, DS, Noctilus, Johnny, Shep, and Game underscore Mo underscore Tron. Ladies Cowabunga and gentlemen, it is. hopefully you had a good time Linuxing with us this evening, this morning, wherever you may be. But until next week, Dynafire. It's 4.04 in the morning, time not found. Hashtag LGC cares. Cowabunga. With peas. <laughs> peas care. Cowapinga. Hung a line of cows. Is that called a moo? Five dudes. <laughs>